The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and in this video, we conduct a performance evaluation and features inspection on the Manitou 23 Encore SHP 575 dual engine pontoon with twin 200 horsepower Evinrude E-Tech G2 outboards. This is a triple pontoon boat with Manitou's sport handling package plus appointments to place the boat in the luxury category. Let's see how they've done. The 23 Encore SHP 575 dual engine measures 24 feet 8 inches length overall and has 25 inch diameter outer pontoons with a 27 inch diameter center model. Empty weight is listed at 3,655 pounds. With two people, 35 and a half gallons of fuel and test equipment on board, we had an estimated test weight of 4,829 pounds. Our test boat was powered by twin 200 horsepower Evinru D-Tech G2 outboards. Turning up the engines to 5,500, we hit a top speed of 53 miles per hour. Best cruise came in at 3,500, where we recorded 30.7 miles per hour and a fuel burn of 21.6 gallons per hour. That translated into 1.4 miles per gallon and a range of 115 statute miles, while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 90 gallon fuel capacity. The SHP package includes positive angle lifting strikes on the pontoons, then improved turning and the barracuda nose cone design cuts through waves and chop. The design works. The boat cars through hard turns, holding her line and leaning into the maneuver like a runabout. She leans inward into turns, not outward or flat like most pontoon boats. Because her center pontoon is greater in diameter and sits deeper in the water, creating a V shape. Also, they knock down spray and we found this boat to be very dry. To make dockside maneuvering easier, pull the control levers to neutral and engage Evinrude's eye dock joystick. The captain can spin the boat and notice how the engines operate independently to put the 23 Encore SHP 575 dual engine in place. When it's time to back into the slip, just use the joystick and the system will take care of everything else. One reason why the E-Tech G2 200 is a compelling match for a pontoon is that it's a two-stroke engine. That means every stroke is a power stroke. Evinrude says the motor makes 30% more peak torque than a comparable four-stroke and everything we've seen indicates this is true. That gets water skiers and wakeboarders up faster. Now let's take a closer look at the 23 Encore SHP 575 dual engine starting at the stern. Each engine is installed on a rugged aluminum bracket that bolts to the aft end of the outboard pontoons. Removable inspection panels provide access to lower mounting bolts. Between the motors is a sturdy and versatile ski tow pylon. A four-step reboarding ladder extends 31 inches below the waterline and has two large handholds. It's one of the best we've seen in class and more than meets ABYC standards. Between the ladder and a 22 inch wide stern gate, the swim platform measures 35 inches fore and aft. Pass through the gate and into the cockpit where there are twin aft facing lounges and settees. The boat comes standard with two removable cup holders and a removable table. There are two cup holders in the seat bases on each side. For storage, the hinged backrests tilt forward. Under the starboard aft lounge, we found Manitou's smart battery switch to handle the ship's three batteries. There are two batteries under the aft lounge. To port, there's another battery plus open storage. We like the double hinge for the seat cushions, which allows us to open it from the outboard or inboard side. Under the port seat, there's unencumbered storage with dual access. With the Bimini top deployed, we saw that our test boat had the optional LED lights integrated into the frame. Moving forward, there are twin captain's chairs that swivel and adjust fore and aft. The armrest and bolsters fold up and in true luxury fashion, the seats have fold out footrests that can fully recline. At the helm, we find a sleek design made especially for the instruments. Manitou offers the 23 Encore with conventional gauges or equipped as our test boat was with the Simrad Go 7 smart screen, a 7 inch multifunction display that provides engine and GPS chart plotter information. All engine diagnostics are displayed here, along with the standard eye trim and winterization features that come standard with all Evinrude engines. To the left of the steering wheel is the JL Audio stereo, and above are the USB connectivity and power plugs. Accessory switches are separated on each side of the steering wheel. Drive-by-wire Evinrude throttle and shift controls are in the binnacle to the right of the helm. Note that there are manual eye trim and tilt buttons for each of the engines, along with a synchronizer function. A toggle switch in the middle allows the RPM to be raised or lowered in 50 RPM increments for precise speed adjustments. The eye dock joystick is aft and below the control binnacle outboard of the captain's chair. Both the binnacle and the eye dock joystick can be easily reached. On the inboard side of the helm console, there's a glove box. Below, a large door opens to a storage space in the console, which provides access to the helm rigging. 
Outboard to port, the side gate is 28.5 inches wide and our test boat had the optional fold-out table that replaces the privacy curtain. The deck is finished in optional Luna vinyl covering and the center tube locker is an available option that provides extra storage. In the bow, our test boat had the optional bow gate filler seat. It can also be used to fill in the stern. Forward of the seat, the gate is 23 inches wide. The bow has angled backrests similar to the stern and notice the different textures, diamond stitching and colors in the upholstery that help give the boat an upscale feel. Down lower the JL Audio speakers. The corner bottom cushions in the bow open on hinges that keep them connected to the boat so an owner can use both hands to access the storage compartments which are finished off. One of these can be used as an anchor locker, something we almost never see on a pontoon boat. The Manager 23 Encore is one of the few pontoon boats in this size that has a proper bow. The full beam forward measures 24 inches fore and aft. Note the cleats on each side of the foredeck. We would prefer that they be pull-up cleats to avoid tripping hazards. On the side of the bow are LED navigation and docking lights. With their twin 200 horsepower E-Tech G2 200 horsepower outboards and performance design, the Manitou 23 Encore SHP575 dual engine provides the performance and luxury in one versatile package that discerning pontoon buyers can appreciate. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.